Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're back with another edition of Tactical Minuteman Gear. Uh, new year, new chest rig. Uh, I made this chest rig because I'm actually going to a uh, course here in April with SNS Training Solutions, and they require a green or coyote tan chest rig. And uh, my current one that I'm running, that's my default, is multicam. So, you know, I had this one lying around because I bought it a while ago and never really did anything with it. So I've kind of built it out and really I've liked it. I think I'm gonna make it my main rig and I think I'm gonna to switch to it. And let's walk through and talk about why. First of all, this is a, and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to read that from where you're at, but this is a Bees Combat Systems, B-B-E-Z Combat Systems chest rig. I originally bought this chest rig for my 308. Uh, and that's what it fits. It's actually sized to take 308 magazines. Right now I have 556 five, magazines in there and with the retention, they actually stay in there pretty well. Um, there's not a lot of moving. If, if this gets disconnected, you know, they get pretty loose in there, but with the elastic retention in there, they hold great. So I'm gonna keep running that for a while and see how that goes. Uh, try to get some walks out with it, try to take a class with it, really make sure that it's, it's solid and square and good to go. I have not tried an AK magazine in here yet, but I imagine it could probably fit an AK mag. I don't know, I haven't confirmed that. We'll need to try it. Uh, that being said, I like the fact that it is a 308 chest rig and it's, it's versatile, right? So if I wanted to put 308 mags in there, I could. Um, and then I don't need to have a whole different rig and a whole different setup. I just swap the mags out and I'm good to go. So I really like the versatility of that. Uh, the chest rig itself is a split chest rig, right? So you can split it across the front. Uh, that's really nice because, you know, if you want to uh, get prone or get low, you can do that a lot better. If you were going to, for whatever reason, uh, needed to split it because you're climbing up a ladder and it's more comfortable or something like that, you can do that. And uh, if you ever wanted to split it open to dump heat because you're in a hot environment, that would also work. So really liking the split chest rig so far. So what exactly do I have in here? Last thing I'll say about this chest rig is that's really cool is that it has these two map pockets on the side here. And what I did is I took an AR500 armor uh, little sleeve thing here that they have that they make for their uh, plate carriers and it fits in here perfectly and I could hold another three magazines in the back so I could double stack my mags. So if I was ever going in to do something where I'm gonna need a lot of bullets, I could carry an additional six magazines, three on this side, three on this side, and now, you know, I can walk in with up to 12 magazines if I really wanted, um, if I thought that was necessary, I could do that. So I leave this, this AR500 armor sleeve thing in here uh, because that way I can always just grab more mags and I can shove them in. And again, if I were to run that 308 gun and I was gonna take my AR-15 too, because some people do that and maybe I want to, I could still, off one chest rig, support two weapon systems, right? I could put my AR-15 magazines back here, I could run my 308s up front, and that way um, I can support both guns as is appropriate, right? So I like, again, I like the versatility of it and that's what's winning me over to this setup and this system. The other one, I currently do not have a sleeve in. I'm using this as an actual map pocket to store map pocket stuff. Um, but again, if I wanted to have that sleeve in here, because I have two sleeves, I could carry six additional magazines and that's a really cool feature. They don't have great retention, right? You're, you're mainly using your, the body pressing against the rig and the rig pulling against it to kind of hold it in there and give it some tension. Uh, but it's, it's enough that I think you'd be okay. As long as you're not falling out of a helicopter, um, I think you'll be just fine. And I unfortunately don't have access to a helicopter, so not an issue for me. So working right to left, uh, back here I have three AR-15 magazines. This is an SRK from Cold Steel. Okay, that's just kind of going back there for now. Uh, here is a Air 15 mag pouch and I just have a smoke grenade in there for right now. I would need to probably get a better pouch for that, but that's how that holds. This is a super admin pouch um, from Banshee Tactical, I believe. I got it on Amazon. I'll leave an affiliate link below if it tickles your fancy. I like this because you have a little map open window here. And then you have a second pocket where you can put stuff in. I don't have anything in there, but I like being able to have a map or, or a checklist or something I can just check when I need to, right? And then it folds up. So that's cool. You can fit a flashlight or, an air, or a handgun mag in here if you want to do, right? Currently, I don't have anything in there at all. But if I want to do, I could fit a, a handgun mag or even an extended handgun mag in there. So that's a cool ability to have there, okay? And then the nice thing is, is it zips open 
and it opens up to where you can see it, right? When, I'm, when this is on your body, you just flip this open, you can see it. Right now I have a compass, a uh, lighter, a little snack, a little paint can thing, and a multi-tool all in here. And again, there's more room in here, right? There's another pocket back here, which is cool. And then a front pocket up here uh, next to, you're gonna be able to see that front pocket next to the uh, compass. So I don't have too much in there right now, but I like that pouch so far, and I think that's a really cool deal. Uh, tourniquet on the bottom. Right, I like that they bothered to put that elastic there so I can have a tourniquet, that's nice. Over here, uh, I do currently have two handgun mags. This is a pouch from AR500 Armor. Um, I, these may or may not stay on here, but I like, again, the versatility of being able to leave this on here so that if I'm wearing a pistol, I can carry two mags, boom. I don't need to carry a battle belt, I don't need to worry about that. I can slap a pistol on and I just have two pistol mags on here and I can support the pistol as needed, right? Uh, electrical tape down here because that's always nice to have. This is a Amazon Chinese pouch I got off of Amazon Elite Spanker, Spanker, I don't know, something like that. It's a silly name, uh, but actually this is a nice pouch. I've enjoyed it. Had it on one of my other rigs for a while, um, just moved it over to here. And it has two, two pouches, front one is empty. The back one, and the whole reason I put this on here is because it will hold my GPS, right? So I have a GPS um, in here, haven't played with this a whole lot, looking forward to learning more about that. But I put that in here so that, you know, I can do navigational stuff, right? So this really is only purpose is to hold my GPS on my rig. Again, it has other pockets that maybe I'll put stuff in later, maybe not. Hopefully not, I put too much stuff on here already. This is just a dump pouch, right? Again, cheap Amazon dump pouch. That's gonna get upgraded here in a month or two uh, with something, uh, Blue Force Gear makes these really skinny, really light dump pouches. I'm gonna put that one here. Um, but I uh, just have this here for now, so I have something to have expanded capacity. In general, I'm a big fan of having ability to expand your capacity on your rigs. If everything is full, all the time, then you have no flexibility. So I know it's hard, but to leave things empty on purpose will actually behoove you so that, again, when something happens, you have room to flex. You can pick something up. You can grab some extra mags because you need those. You can uh, take something from a sensitive site exploitation or whatever. Having empty pouches gives you flexibility. So learn to not stuff everything to the gills because then you have no flexibility, okay? So that's in part why some of this is empty. Some of it's empty just because I haven't gotten around to filling it yet, but some of it's empty because, hey, if I need to put something else in there, I can, and I like having that ability. So a dump pouch is great for that. Even if you don't plan on using it as a dump pouch, even if you plan on you know just having it, again, just for the flexibility factor, it's gonna make a difference. This is a Dark Angel medical kit, okay? So this is an IFAC. There's a tourniquet here on the front, right? And then a full IFAC inside. Big fan of Dark Angel Medical. And then they have scissors. Back here on the left side of the panel, uh, two more mags and then my radio. Okay, so I have my radio coming up to a, uh, again, cheap Amazon push to talk. That's actually served me very faithfully so far. Uh, it's not $500, it was like $35 or something. And this has actually been great. So I'm actually a big fan of this cheapy, uh, Chinese made Amazon push a talk deal. Um, it's made my life a lot better. And then uh, Ranger beads, right, for pace counting and stuff like that. Again, yes, I have the GPS, which is my primary tracking, but to have pace count beads, which I might move these inside my admin pouch since they're secondary. And then to have a compass, always have a compass, right? So again, redundancies, right? So that's it. That's my new chest rig. I'm going to try to run this for a while. I, I've been playing with it a lot. I really like it. I think I'm going to, again, try to use this as my main rig until something, uh, I don't like it or something better comes along. Again, versatility being the theme here, and I don't know what would be my application for this, but because this is a split chest rig, um, I have this piece that I got off some uh, other bag. It was an Elite Spaker bag. Um, that I got off of Amazon again, but it came with this extra strap thing that I don't really need. So because these buckles are the same, and I mean, look at that color match. It looks like it was made for it, right? Down to the buckle color match. But because of that, because it's a split chest rig, you could completely disconnect one of these, and then you could set it up to run more like a satchel, right? So I can take this extra piece of 
cordage. I can disconnect this to make it look more pretty, right? And now you could throw that over a shoulder or use that as an extra support or run this just, you know, in your car uh, as your kind of everyday car carry thing. And then when you need it, connect it off for a chest rig. Um, so you could take one panel, clip it off. Now I have three mags, right? I have admin, I have smoke. You could put whatever you want on here, right? To make that happen. But the fact that I could just run it like a satchel rig is kind of cool. I, like I said, I don't know if I'd actually use that for anything, but I really like having the option to be able to disconnect that. Uh, so I keep this strap with this now. I keep this handy around so that if for whatever reason I want to disconnect this and run this alone, right? Or you could run this panel or whatever. You totally get the idea. You can have whatever you want on here, but you could have uh, mags, IFAC, you know, radio, and boom, all of a sudden you're set to go with just a half panel that can, again, support, supplement, having your car carry with your car rifle, whatever. Cool option. Don't know if I'll ever use it, but just wanted to put that out there. Other thing, side note here, when you're going through and setting up your chest rigs and stuff, size things right. Give yourself a little bit of flex. See, I left a little bit of extra slack here. And then I tape down those straps because I'm not a dirty barbarian. Tape down your straps, you know, keep your stuff tight. Don't just leave straps hanging out everywhere. It's unseemly and unbecoming and you look like a buffoon. The versatility is what is really helpful. As a Minuteman, you need to think in terms of versatility, right? And making your gear as versatile as possible is gonna help you because you're not always gonna be able to have a bunch of different specialized equipment to do whatever you want. You've gotta to learn to flex and move the situation. So having one piece of kit that you can flex to a variety of situations is gonna serve you much, much better than five different sets of kit that you have for a specific situation, right? I hope that's helpful. Hope that gives you some thoughts. I always like checking out people's chest rigs. So hopefully you do too. Do brave deeds and endure.